Yeah. Sorry, I just had to slap Peter on the way out. Hello, everybody. We're back. Hello, friends. This is Scott's. Wait, now it buffered for me. Now it's in, it's spreading. Oh no, the 30 frames. Oh, now it's buffering on my end. That's unfortunate. It's buffering on my end. Do this bit. So is there some other way to do that? Is it is it buffering? Is it still buffering? Oh, Lonnie Loli, Lonnie Loli, I need you. <laughs> Why did you not equip to me, Lonnie Loli? We have it into normal now. So is there a quicker way to do this other than just wait? But... Okay, I'm looking back and I'm not seeing a lot of buffering on my end. Smooth, is that referring to me? <laughs> the smoothest man alive? Or is that referring to the stream? There are quicker ways, they aren't easy though. Uh, they never are, are they? What do they involve? Do they involve this like... Perfect, like blowing them up and then econoing through. Like, can you get through? I mean, just eating a, an aku aku. I was afraid of the way you got through that part. Well, thank you. But how's the stream, though? How's the stream, though? My king, unfortunately, I must look for now. I need to do something. All right, Sphinx. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, did that part have any buffering for you? Don't ever find me. Goose. What's up, Goose? To the Goose Express. How are you doing? How's the stream? Uh, the gaming is going all right, but the stream might be having some issues. People are talking about buffering going on. How, how does? What's the consensus right now? Is the stream is the stream looking okay for people? Looks fine now. We have it. We have it. It's fine from Hito. Looks good. We got a good. We got the Goose Express says it's good. Okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going and hope. If you keep the mask up to that point, you can jump through the laser room past the road TNT. Okay, so it is an Aku thing. I see. Yeah, that sounds complicated. Actually, it doesn't sound that complicated. Oh wait, holy! Oh wait, hang on. I'm, I've noticed now the bit rate is actually showing up in the red. It's never done that on PlayStation before. <laughs> Why is that happening? Is there something that I can do? Is it just a bad internet day then? It's looking fine. Light-wise, like it doesn't have that, it's it's bad dock light. I agree, honestly, I agree. I hit that in my stomach. Tell everyone to get off internet. Oi! Everybody clear out. I got the new Cortex Castle. I mean... How, how bad is it? Like, is it barely watchable? Is it doable? Like, should I wait to... I don't necessarily want to end, but if it's like a not a good viewing experience, then I don't I don't want to I don't want to put you guys through a poor experience, you know. 
it's watchable, just happens randomly? Okay. I hate you! <laughs> Flame crate. I'm gonna keep going then. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Damn it, this is not how I wanted this to go. I wanted it to be this, this triumphant thing. We're getting the last perfect relics here, people. You lost the Mexican, trigger the TNT, jump away, and stand in the gap. You slide jump to Pupunawa, land back in the gap, then slow time and slide jump to the bouncing crates. That's... Now that's the complicated one that I was thinking about. Oh, it's just showing the yeah, showing the bitrate is unstable. I've never had this issue on PlayStation. It's weird. Fun fact: there are bounces, boxes at the top of the second. You know what? You're so right. You're so right. Oh wait, no, that's not even what I thought you were. Oh wait, there are boxes up there. That's not even what I thought you were referring to. I didn't even realize that. I mean, it's not huge because you know, it'll the nitro will blow it up. I didn't. That's not what I thought you were referring to. That's weird. Inconsequential, yeah, we don't need to go that way. I need to die. Guess I could have gone sooner for the flame box. That flame box is annoying. Yeah, that's, it's weird. It's like the it's like some of the only, like, totally needless, you don't even need to worry about boxes in the entire, like... <laughs> game. I mean, I guess there are technically some, but they're on the path. Like, those are both hidden and inconsequential. Typically, they're one, they're like one or the other. That's weird. This flame crate it, alone is probably going to be like the sole reason why this is going to take so long to do. I'm not even worried about anything else. I'm just worried about that. In the face of the TNT, so I always wondered if they would get blown. I don't know, they're nitro crates, so they just explode. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Nitro, not TNT. Wait, what are we referring to? You're out of phase of the TNT. I don't know. So I need to. There we go. Now, now this is good. Let's so do that. Boop. Boop. I meant to say nitro, not TNT. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I was like, wait, I'm talking about something else? Not. I landed on the top of it! Was it just because it was moving? Oh, wait, I died and I didn't restart? Wait, how did I get two deaths? Wait, did I die and not restart? Oh, now the bit rate looks like it's stabilizing again. Did I die and just, like, not... Do that? I completely blanked on that. If things like TNT out of phase can't hurt you. Oh, out of oh, I see what you mean. Why does Nitro out of phase hurt a box? Okay, oh, now I get now I get what you're saying. Yeah, that is weird. I guess, that, like, does it revert to a certain default state? Like, I know that there's a, there's a certain, unless I'm misreading the situation that happens, there's a, a platform near the whole, like, mask gauntlet that, like, transforms as soon as you get the... Uh... What, 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 what is this, like, d dimension swapping one? Like, Ika Ika, is it? Or is it someone else? Or is this Lonnie Lily? When you get this one, it, like, transforms it. It transforms the thing in front of you instantly. So maybe it just, like, reverts to a certain, like, passive existence where it works. Like, its default state is working, and so, it, like... I don't know. I, th I think there's some. There's probably some behind the scenes logic on it. Huh. 
have to just take an extra jump to make sure I'm super hyped up on it. Where are you two going? Uh, how's the stream looking? Bitrate is looking excellent, it says. It's looking beautiful. performance any better for y'all? Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> Didn't quite land anything. Looks good, looking better, fingers crossed. Alright, now it's time for the biggest buffer of our lives. So is the idea here to just bounce, 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 and then double jump? Because there's a little bit of space there. Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to blow this up. Kate, hello! How are you doing tonight? Thanks for coming by. Woo! Fun fact, you can't jump on the last five boxes. You have to spin them. Really? I will test that. Oh, was close. Whew. Doing well, how are you? I'm doing alright. I think the, sh the stream is having some issues. It will hopefully be solved. Unfortunately, it memes, uh, means a slightly messier archive situation. And slightly lower quality for this stream. But hopefully at least it stays watchable. Then I'm doing alright. Working on my piano drills today. And I also finished Netflix's Castlevania. So that's nice and satisfying. Like, I finished a thing. Woo! Oh, I guess that's what you mean. You kind of do have to spin them. Yeah, I see. And now we're doing Cortex Castle. And then we're going to do the uglier sister of Cortex Castle. Double trouble, or whatever. Seeing double. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Here, let me, let me practice this real quick. Okay, no, okay, so it is, okay, yeah, no. I just timed it at the wrong time. I just timed it poorly. Woo! Best of luck in the final stretch, thank you. It's gonna be these, like, saw things. I guarantee, because it, it's so tricky to judge the distance where it's like, I'm close enough to jump on top of it, but I'm not too close too soon that I just, like, bisect my bandicoot. Oh, we had a lore thing as well. We had a lore question. You only need the middle of those blades there? Ooh, that's a thank you for that tip. I will be sure to utilize that tip to its fullest extent. Yeah, Kate, we had a lore question. We are hoping we could, we could uh, illuminate a little bit. So, did... Question. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. How did that work? So, at the start of Crash 4 here... Start to crash four here. Tropy and Cortex and Uka Uka are all like in the little like pocket dimension or whatever they ended up in at the end of Warped. Because they got kicked out of time. But in Warped, Tropy and Cortex were babies. Like that's how they got they tra they were like sent back in the time bubble and became babies. So did they just grow up in like <laughs> they just grow up? Basically, do you get back to their old normal ages? Because, like, did 30 years pass for them and Crash and Coco and whatnot? Did it, it just pass for them because they were, like, in their own little, like, time bubble? Or. What, what's the. What, what's. What happened? What happened with that? Was time unique to them? Did Aku Aku accelerate the process? Did he use his magic? They also retained their memories? I think they retained their memories because... Yeah, they had to have retained their memories because Cortex knows to go back to 96 to stop himself. I'm thinking you're meant to forget they were ever babies. <laughs> That's probably likely. They're probably like, ah, you know, it's been 30 years. Or whatever. I don't know. I want to say cartoon BS happened. 
Kido, are you not taking Crash Bandicoot lore seriously again? Do, I have, do we have to have this talk again? Oh, I can do this! Aha! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a question I want to know. You can jump on these crates. Oh wait, no, not this one. <laughs> wait, what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, you can't jump on these crates. Just for some reason, you sometimes can't. Huh? Mythbusters, disproven. All the other lore is so deep and intricate that we let that <laughs> details slide. I refuse. So I guess the idea is if I just use the middle one, I can. Do that? Okay. Thank you for the tip, Jazz. Thought I never could. I'll have to try again. Yeah, it, it's doable. Buffer. No! Oh, wait, I actually just saw a little bit of a hitch. Oh, oh, now I'm seeing it on my end. No, I won't see it on my end. Frames. But once 30 frames showed up, it all went out the window. Will the real Cortex please stand up? Where'd the doorbell even be in a castle like this? Huh? Yeah, that's that's definitely Roger Craig Smith. I can hear it in his exclamation. That's yeah, Roger Craig Smith to a T. I can just... yeah. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> it's so weird that you can do that. Oh, jeez! It's one of the... It's looking at... Uh, there we go. Well, it's looking okay now. Damn, of all the nights for this to happen too, it's like the mo it's like a night that's supposed to be of triumph. Whew. Oh. Checking a clip from last night, jumped twice on a flanker that day. Yeah, I am I'm a, I'm a firewalker. Or something. I, I really don't know how that happened. This is pretty weird. How does the game let that happen? Okay, so I think the play is just to go back and forth. Can I just... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was close. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, I don't know how I, I managed to get away with that flame crate thing. We're all very befuddled by that. Also, you can do a back and check that VOD and see that we beat Toxic Tunnels, baby! Woo! We did it! Would you believe me if I said that I almost beat it first try? Is that a believable thing? Because that's actually what happens. <laughs> It was a very stupid death. I misjudged where I was during the minecart section, during the red gem portion of the path. And I was like, ah, you know what? I'll need the practice anyway. And, uh, it turns out I didn't need the practice because I did the rest of the level without dying. And then I spent an hour dying to stupid stuff. It's a little bit annoying because it's like, wow, alright, I guess I just should have restarted. But, I mean, there's no guarantee that restarting. Oh dear, no guarantee that restarting would have had the same series of events, but... It's happened to me before, sometimes you just lock in, you don't even realize it. I don't like that! I don't like that! Okay.
You see that? Like that? I'm pretty sure it goes immediately. Okay, so can I get on top of you... Like that? Okay, that's that's easier. That's much easier. That's much easier. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go the safe way. Let's go the safe way. And that's Cortex Castle. That's just, that's Cortex. That's Cortex Castle sorted. That's Cortex Castle sorted very nicely. And there we go. Cortex Castle. Perfected. GG's. Whew. I'll be honest. That might be my favorite level. I like that. I like that part at the end. That's so that's exciting. Twenty minutes? It was a little more than twenty minutes. Uh we did restart the stream because we were having some issues, so it's closer to like twenty-two minutes. Twenty-three maybe. GG's. Have to speed run this game. I, <laughs> the closest you will get from me will be the platinum relics. Other than that, go fish. All right, we'll do the inverted version, and then we'll do the other version. And we'll call it. I'm so far behind that I learned your fate from Chen. Oh no. You could you could probably refresh and it will it should catch you back up. But now you get to see how it happened in real time. Oh, I need to open this guide here and see where they've stuck this silly little relic. Bro, <laughs> bro, is it another one of these ones? It ruined the suspense. He's like, is he gonna make it? Well, now he knows he's gonna make it. I, don't know, I like I like this level a lot. I like I like how they mix up the ma the mask mechanics. I wish they did more of it. That's why he's on the TV version of Twix. Oh, I see, I see. All right, Kate. I'll see you back in a moment or two, or however you need. Why is it? Ooh, that was close. Alright, and then we just... No running in the hallways. I landed on that and survived. I don't know what killed me the last time. Proper positioning, I guess. Well, that's not good. That's great, though. That's great, though. That's great, though. That's great, though. Alright, bonus level. Oh, wait, am I coming up on the... I think I'm coming up on the hidden gem here. Nope, oh, okay, I came back too soon. Came back too soon. Again, a little bit too soon on the come down. Gotta stay high. We gotta stay elevated, gamers. Right. I almost slammed my bandicoot face into that. Also, Hito, I never uh, like responded to your message here. Only, <laughs> only uh, acknowledging the twin sanity lore. I, I, does this just mean that you're not taking uh, mind over mutant into account, Hito? 
We've talked about this, you know. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The thing, the, the crate jumping, the crate jumping kind of screwed with me there. Are you implying, Hito, that you are using lore invented by that Cad Cortex, not Brio, who really invented it? It was invented by me, not Cortex, redraw by, but I wrote it. I shouldn't have, I used my double jump too soon there. Because this is Brio Erasure, Hito, and I won't stand for it. You know I won't stand for it. Uh, I shot my tootsies. I didn't land where I wanted to. Bro, well, Hito, I'm still sad about Rubble. I'm really sad about it. I know we weren't playing it as often as, you know, maybe we should have been playing it, but I'm still upset. In case y'all aren't aware, I don't know if, how many people here actually played Crash Team Rumble before, but uh, support for it has officially ended as of today, March 4th. The final content update went live. And I'm, I'm upset about it. It sounds like such a weird concept for Crash Bandicoot, a live service like 4v4 MOBA style arena battler. But it's it was so fun, it was so creative and so interesting. Oh, I didn't bounce as high as I wanted to. It was such a fun and creative game, and it's the fact that it's it's dead, not even a year out, is upsetting. Yeah, that's it for uh, it, it possibly has to do something with the fact that uh, Toys for Bob is going indie, so they're not going to be under the Activision umbrella anymore. They're talking about maybe working potentially with Microsoft, you know, following the merger. But it's upsetting. It's cool that they're going indie. It's cool that they'll have more control over their projects and whatnot. But ah, Rumble was so good. They were weren't they going to add more stuff to it too? I assume they were just going to keep going. Yeah. I mean, there's data mine stuff that could have lasted a couple seasons. Are we still that effort they could have been making Crash 5? I'll be honest, Rumble, legitimately, like, some of the most fun I've had in any Crash game. I'll be honest. Rumble is so fun and creative, but the fact that it, to, to survive, it basically had to... I, where'd my double jump go, Crash? Where'd my double jump go? I tried to jump over the Nitro, I just bounced it like a man. But the fact that it had to exist, like, in this era, where everything has to, with live service games, have to have certain things that turn off every single consumer to survive, like, it, it just sucks. It... And it's, it, like, it really was a very grindy battle pass, was the only thing that was really keeping you to play kind of game. But it's just, I wish they had more resources. Apparently they there really just wasn't... They didn't have much bandwidth for it. They had, like, one guy in charge of the entire, like, connectivity. And, like, 30 people working on it, maybe, like... Ah. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's, a, it's such a fun, clever idea. It sounds so strange. It sounds so wrong. But it plays so right. And I'm gonna miss it. They, they put everything that was unlockable... Uh from like every battle pass on one big 500 tier battle pass and added some new stuff to it and it's like oh that's kind of cool that's kind of cool but at the same time it's like well now on the, on the, on the one hand it's like so the jumps up here oh I see I see I see oh wait why didn't I why can not I why didn't I spin oh well oh that's a Tricky dicky one. Ooh -hoo. What was I saying by the way? I kinda of forgot because I went over there. I don't know. I I'm gonna oh yeah, the the whole battle pass thing. Like it's cool that it, like you can go back and unlock stuff. Like hey Hito, we can get the uh BG's cortex now. But the fact that you have to go through that whole battle pass, and it's like, for what? The game's over. I'm getting this skin to not play it, because, like, it's gonna have no players in a month. I overshot that. 
it's just like uh, it's just so defeating because it's like now I want to play it and get that stuff and enjoy it while it still has some players, but like I don't know, it's like since it's not continuing, it's like to what end? Really wanted that. I don't know what tier it is. Unfortunately, there's no way to like. The, the, the one kind of awkward thing about it too is that it do, it doesn't like account if you have something. So you can have something that's on the battle pass, and it's just like, okay, well, do it again, <laughs> earn it again. You can't like skip to stuff that you don't have. And there's a really cool Ripto skin. It's like at 400. 400 something, it's like... So, to play this game for those levels, like, is it worth it at this point when it's dead? It's actively dead? Like, being killed as we speak? I don't know. I don't know. You know, Hito, you wanna play some tomorrow for old time's sake? One more, one more score? One more score tomorrow, Hito? Before the game becomes an absolute ghost town. Get a couple extra matches in. I'm down? Hell yeah, let's do it. One more score, Arthur. One more score, and we'll be set, and Rumble will be fucking dead. Love out. Not Lamal though, I'll be upset. I'll be upset to see it go. And uh, it's double upsetting because it's like, are we ever gonna get something like it again? It's just so, it was so cool. I loved it. I really did. If I didn't have to buy you another subscription, I'd join you. Hell yeah. Well, that's another. That is another thing too. Yeah, like you'd have to have PlayStation Plus to play it. At, uh, like, at least free-to-play stuff, you don't, but because Rumble is paid, you would need, yeah, you need another prescri uh, subscription just to play it. That definitely didn't help, I imagine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why it, that happened. I don't know why that happened. And that was supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen. Like, see, this transforms immediately. Unless I'm doing it, like, really fast and I didn't expect to. Is that me? I'm gonna die! Except I lived. I like this version of the story better. I have to write a different ending. One where I actually live. You know how many pages have I written? Whew. You can skip three of the Econo Mask in the Gauntlet section, can you? Some of them do seem kind of superfluous, like the one before the, uh... Whoever the hell the blue mask is. The reality swapping one. That one is just kind of for, like... <laughs> assuredness? So you can make it? So yeah, some of them seem a little bit... It felt like they were really like, uh, what do we do for Econo for this part? Oh, thank you for the Lurkito. Thank you, thank you. Righto, well. That leaves us with... Sing double. So that does... Okay, we did get the hidden gem for this one, so it's just finding all the crates. And... Not dying a lot. Let's get to it. Last one. Just one more. One more perfect relic. Eighty-nine percent. Uh, that should be ninety, right? Because we were at eighty-nine because of the boss. Mm. I Can I see from here, or do I have to go to the menu to see? 
Might have to run the menu to see. I mean, we should be at 90. I mean, oh, crash. Oh, crash. Come on, Cortex. This one even has. This one has less. Have to go all the way out. Yeah, uh, we should. We, we should be at 90 because I was at 89. Dude, sorry, I I kind of like blanked on what I meant to do there. I think I just gotta destroy that. Either destroy that or just not land on it and walk into it. Just be careful where I land there. I think. Yeah, there's room. Just, yeah, there's no. No aqua boxes on this level. At all? Really? Interesting. How frequent is that? Because I actually, it sounds like, no way. But, you know what, now that I think about it, there's some that I feel like just probably don't. I stopped before then, but his head is so freaking mighty. Oh, I didn't even realize this guy was supposed to be moving. Isn't the hidden gem like right here or something? No? Maybe I'm wrong. We already got that. Oh, wait! Wait. Was there? Okay, there's not. I was gonna say, is there something to the screen? Ooh. Ooh. Close. I can smell it. It's. Am I. Is it for bouncing on something? I thought it would be. I could be wrong. Oh, he's close. I can smell his fear. Wait, that's super far. Can you not be that far? Unfar yourself. Now. There we go. That's kind of. Awkward. There we go. So wait, and that goes back? That that goes back, okay. So I have to remember a few things here. So isn't there something up there? No? No yes, no, that's the hidden gem. That's the hidden gem, that's right. You have to go all the way back. And go through that window. Are there crates back there? I don't remember if there are crates back there. There are? Damn it! <laughs> then I have to go through it. It's not that bad, actually. I remember this. Yeah. Three? Uh, okay. You know what, this actually is kind of easier than making that jump, though. Like, I don't really mind that, because now I'm over here. Oh, but that's not a real enemy! Feels real. She was real to me, so... Oh, I can do... Is there a... I mean, I could also do this. Oh, my head! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Also, I'm way the hell back here. I am way the hell back here. I feel like I need to... I know I don't need that one, but... I feel like I sh could be a put... be putting more trust into just, like, not jumping and dashing for a lot of things. Like, I'm doing that for a few things, but I think in general. There, I mean, there I kind of have to, but... I, I throw an extra, like, hop in before a lot of dashes that I don't think I need to throw in, necessarily. Like, honestly, it's not even that, like... Ow, I hit my head. See, I should- see? See? That's exactly why. I threw that in that extra hop, and it ruined it. Okay, well that time I didn't hold left. I didn't hold left that time, that's my bad. 
Well, they're putting me a hell of a ways back. What is the purpose of this structure? What is the lore purpose of this? Kate's still gone? I'd like to know the lore purpose of that structure. I'm still stuck on that entropy cortex question. They mentioned decades, like it's been decades, they say. But has it been decades for crashing company? That's what I want to know. The people want to know. I am people. The dash is kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't really hate it. It's just kind of like, uh, when they looked at Cortex, then they, they're like, you know what he needs? He needs a dash. This is weird. Hello, Kate. How's it going? Pretty well. We finished up the inverted version of Cortex Castle, and now we're on to Cortex's portion of Cortex Castle. Oh, I'm... Uh, they make a good point. They make a good point. When they put it like that, they make a good point. They're just kind of relearning Cortex's bit right now. Oh yeah, lore question. What's the significance of that little hut there? What's the lore of that hut? What's the significance of that hut? Tonight's, uh, tonight's we're hitting the lore questions for some reason. It's a real lore-heavy night for... Oh, is that little, that's little baby Cortex? I see him in there. Ah. Whee! Yep. I could've gone, I got scared. I got scared. But I'm not scared anymore! confidence in me to know the lore. Oh, of course, Kate, of course. You're my go-to with the lore. I hate that thing. I hate that thing. So, what am I dealing with here? So... I, okay, I hate that. I, why has there not been a checkpoint? Why does why do they like no checkpoint for that point? What do they mean by that? Why do I have to do all of this over and over again? What do they mean by that? What do they mean by that? So but okay, once we we just gotta know a way. Once we know the way. Ah. Oh, man, I knew I shouldn't have smoked that wumpa. Now I'm in Dracula's castle. Uh, do I have enough space to- I do. Barely, though. Barely, though. Oh, thank you! I got a pit- I, I got a pity- I got a pity checkpoint. I'll take it, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it, cuz... Might need it. Might need it. I will, I will admit, because I was talking about a finished Netflix's Castlevania, finally. Uh, it has got me looking at, like, what Castlevania games are on PS4? Might be something to stream. I hate that. I hate that they put that there. So... Wait, so is the idea to dash, bounce, bounce, dash? Oh, that's shitty. Oh, that's so shitty. Okay, well, remember, we're missing one. We're missing one. I don't think we can get that right now, because... I'm not... Far, I'm not close enough to that. Remember that we're missing one, because... It can't redo that bad. So just remember that. we If we're missing one, we know where the one is. We know that they're the one. So 
I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the old dash bounce bounce there. Okay, that is okay, okay, that is it feels risky, but it's doable. I hate that. I hate everything about that. There must be a way for me to reason with me. Oh, this oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. Didn't mean to do that. I don't like that one bit. And just when I thought, ah, it should just be Cortex Castle again. Piece of piss. Throw this shit at me. can say, no, I'm not jumping that shit. Oh, I wasn't on the thing. Oh, now. Now. Can I just jump? I don't think it, maybe the dash wasn't necessary there. Okay, I tried to do something really cool there, and I did not. This is going to be a, quite the level, isn't it? I, I didn't want to... <laughs> I, I could have landed and jumped. I could have landed and jumped that, I think. This bit's... Uh, wait a second. I'm overthinking this. 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 See? We can do that. That's... That's hell. That's hell. Very much hell. I don't like that. <laughs> they, they, get, they, they really are just like, you gotta want it. You want this final perfect relic? Cortex level. Worst Cortex level. <laughs> Deal with it. I'm gonna... Oh my goodness, I didn't. Okay, I don't think I can get over this. I was thinking, there's something over there? You know, let's just bounce. Let's just bounce a second. Let's just chill. Let's just, let's just hang out. Why don't we just... Right here and see what happens. To quote McRo... McReady? McReady? Who was Kurt Russell in the thing? Southern Mac ready? Why can't I be more reasonable like I am? Okay, well that's the Cortex part. Then Cortex killed the nerd and flung him down the chute. Okay. So, but all that's left in this bit then is pretty much just... Just the mask of God. I hate situations like, such as including those. Wait, can I jump on those? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I'm a fool. What have I done? What have I done? I can do this. Smartest man oh, alive! I'm dead. <laughs> Deadest man alive. So for that busy gamer who's too travely to wait for shit. Who 
always do that. Okay, so I, I think I can bounce off that. I think I can bounce off that. I have to approach this this version vi uh, slightly differently. I have to approach this slightly differently because there's extra boxes now, so I can't use the same exact. I can't use the old tricks that I used to. Like that. Okay, it's as simple as that. What? Uh, that was incorrect. Incorrect, actually, sir. Incorrect. Me. Incorrect as well, but it's okay. Am I doing that? Maybe I am doing that. And I oop. And I oop. How's stream going for everyone, by the way? I was gonna say stream is buffering, and I realized it was me saturating my stream up link with sending photos. Oops. I was about to ask too. Like, how's the stream holding up? After that, though. Ah! After that, though, everything seemed good. Oh, hello there. Oh, my head! My head, my head! So is that gonna be all but one? All but one. Okay, so we know where everything is. Okay. Okay, knowledge. Accrued. Brain at maximum capacity. Now it's time to channel that. Here we go. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Seeing double. They know they only love you when you're seeing double. Blech! There's probably no one here who listens to Architects and think I'm like, what, 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 what he's talking about? What is the lad talking about? What is the lad talking about? I really want you. Again. Uh, the w <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe that's an instance I could use a little hop there. But, like, let me hold R2. Go into, like, Wumpa Cannon mode from Crash 3 when I'm on Cortex. Let me do it. You know you want... To let me do it, Toys for Bob. I know that I know you he can hear me. I know you've got your, your your game master. You've got like Jonathan, the game master, sitting there. I know he didn't get laid off. I, won't let me I know he's there I sitting, plotting. I mean, oh, he's the reason crash. why the nitro crate sometimes jumps and it's unavoidable. Getting all the gems gives a 5% bonus, and the last perfect gives another 2%, so you might be at 97% with this perfect. Would I really? Because, yeah, I'm at 90 now. So 5 because of that, and then 2% because of the relics. I, but I'll beat the. In, I, well, after this, too, I'll also be beating the inverted version. So that's another. That's another percent. So at the end of this stream, we might be at 98%. That's kind of crazy. How much did you say the uh, the flashback tapes were worth when you did them all? Because I know you have to do all of them to get the percent. How much are the flashback tapes worth? be at 100% for doing the flashback tapes. So, and then with the will the platinum relics be the cost? Are the platinum relics gonna be six percent then? Flashbacks are just two. Interesting. Oh my head! 
big bulbous cortex head. I think I'm doing that nitro crate a little riskier than I need to. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. Okay, so dash, bounce, bounce, dash. No, just pitching this will be 200%. Oh, okay. Damn, it's gonna it's gonna feel so bad because we're gonna go from like a steady percent pretty consistently to like m multiple streams with like no percent. I should just go back on that. I should just go back on that. I should just go back on that. Let's not make it harder than it has to be. You bastard crate! You bastard crate! I believed myself to be far enough. I believed it. It pulled me into it. It pulled me into it is what it did. Read me all my rights. I never wrote down I won't the great I mean, fail differently. I mean, no, crash. Crash. I'm defeat. This is weird. This is weird that this is like the only. Well, I guess it's not technically. Uh, you know what? I just realized. Are this? Are these switches that I'm hitting like? I didn't even realize they're tinged red. Oh, I don't really want you over there, but here, come over here. Come a little bit closer. You're my kind of bat. So soft and so bouncy. Leave the three there. I would not be surprised. I, I, we're just in this hallways, and I'm just seeing like a picture of Dracula. Cortex is like, no, that's me, Dracula. Remember when Cortex swore a war against humanity because they killed his wife? That's the lower crash one, right? See, I was this far from the nitro crate. Did it just—it just pulled me into anything. Oh, I see, Beaches, I see. So, you can be at 100%. So, all of the relics can essentially account for the last 6%. Interesting. Like, flashback and time trial relics put together. Interesting. Excuse me. So scary. <laughs> Alright, this is the time trial that probably would in the window to go. There must be a way for me to reason with me. Bouncy bouncy boy! So this side uh, should probably just go a little bit earlier, make sure I'm at the edge. Do that. Oh, that's scary. I think I kinda have to jump here. Oh, okay, there's Cortex's bit. 
There's Cortex's bit. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Bish bosh. I'm not gonna lie. There was a. I had. A, I felt a strong, questionably masculine urge to kick that nitro crate. It's the human obsession with self-destruction, I suppose. This is so risky, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've, I've ruined it. I've ruined it is what I've done. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I have ruined it. I have ruined it. I went back because I missed that. You know what? Give it one more practice run here. I, 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 you know, I'll be honest, I didn't think I, I saved that like I did. I th you know, maybe it is me, and I'm just, like, faster than I realize. I can do that. Don't want to do that? This part's not that different. I got it. I got it. Oh, hey, that got me all my, uh... All my regular gems, though. Okay, we got this. Okay, I'm feeling it. Alright, I understand now. I see the code. I see the vision. Ooh, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta, I gotta... Sorry, he was playing Bubba. Had to chime in. Had to say something. Oh, yeah. Sorry, PJs. I, I, you'll, I, you'll get your you'll get your damn dirty percent after we get this perfect relic here. I, I, I never trust myself to not hit that. I don't want you there. Let's not make it out of the dead house, baby. Okay. Bounce. Bounce. Bounce? Uh, I don't know why I was so confident that it would return to me in time. It didn't return to me in time. Thus proving a lack of deserving of my confidence. What do you say about, about the switch boxes turning red? Oh, well, the one at the beginning looks very red. And, you know, red-tinted stuff like that is usually the de denoting, like, yeah, it's gonna need... It's gonna be timed. Like, this is something that's gonna last a duration. No, this is yellow. Like, cause, like, this doesn't really... This goes back. So that one at the beginning of the level... I don't know if it... Maybe it's just the, 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 the color of that specific hallway. But the, the first one looks red, and the rest of them look normal. And it's just kind of weird that the rest of them aren't red. Just because red's usually the code for, like, this is going to take... This is on a fixed time, so, like, hustle. hustle. It's just weird that they're yellow, and they're temporary things. When the temporary color is usually not yellow, it's red. That's scary. You know they were in the lab with that with that one. You know they were cooking deviously with that one. There must be a way for me to reason Oof. with me. 
There must be some solution. Clear the path. I that I'm so ready for that to kill me every single time. I'm so ready for it. Is it possible? I don't think it's possible. Is it possible to get a good bounce off this one? <gasps> oh shit! I'll be honest, I kind of... I shouldn't have moved there. I shouldn't have moved there. I didn't expect to fall. Oops. I shouldn't have moved. I should have stayed on the platform. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can save this. And I... Saving it would have been not moving. They only love me, do you, when you're seeing red. Read me your merits. If I grew dead, if you agree. I won't let me fail. I mean, it's like this one being yellow me. makes sense because I mean, it's like a, it, th that door doesn't close as far as I know. How did you get in there, bud? How did you get in there? I guess it's just the lighting. Like this is, I guess it's just the lighting because there's like reddish candles in the hallway here. Just where the other ones aren't red. It's weird. We have we have a color for red for temporary stuff. And we're not using the color for temporary stuff. Why even have a filing system? Let me get those three. Bounce that. Sorry, I did that because I was really sure I would overshoot it, and then it was fine. Oh. I scare myself. Sometimes I scare myself. <gasps> oh! I didn't break it. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. Da 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 the fact that you can't shoot these buggers is very annoying. Quite the embuggerance. The dash didn't happen. The dash needed to happen, and it didn't happen. And also, that shot missed that crate, even though it should have absolutely hit it. Ah, it's the stupid stuff, the stupid stuff hour. We've reached it. We've reached it. I'm being undone by the little things. Come on, you gotta lock in. You gotta lock I in. Mean, this is the last perfect in the line here. I mean, oh, crash. We have it all. We have it all locked in. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a messier shot. Oh, it's an impossible. No, it's not. Ah! Oh! close. Nah. It wasn't fine. I, I pretended it was fine, but it wasn't fine. Ugh. I'm seeing double. Four cortexes. Did I make that joke when I first played through this level? I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I, I should have. I mean, oh, crash. Getting perfect relic is about learning all the ways you can die and how. Learning all the ways you can die and being like, okay, not that. Edison didn't fail to build a light bulb a hundred times, he just learned 99 ways to not make a light bulb, and then one way to make it. I'm one for fun. <laughs> mm. 
How do I read chat? Uh, I have on PlayStation. I, there's an overlay that will just kind of go over the gameplay. Like I see that bubble in the top right. It doesn't show on stream, uh, but it's there. I also have my laptop open with Stream Manager, so I can keep up with both chat and any redeems or stream activity that might be important, like new follows, redeems especially, because I can't see any of that from PS5's overlay. So I have a few ways to, ch to uh, I have it on a few things, just to make sure I can keep up. So if you ever see me be like, uh, uh, like starting a message and be like, oh, I have to, hang on a second. It's it's because it it went away on PlayStation and I have to like look to the side. Didn't realize the chat bubble didn't show up on stream. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff on PS5 where if you're streaming directly from it, it doesn't show you. Like here, I'm gonna press the PlayStation button. I'm looking at a menu right here. I'm looking at the trophies for Crash 4. I'm scrolling through them. You can't see this. Any like bubble that shows up. Any part of the PlayStation 5 UI specifically, it will not go into the stream. It's interesting. I don't really know how they managed it, but it's kind of cool that they managed it like that. I hate how quickly those bubbles go away. I think you can adjust their duration. I could be wrong. I think you can have them like either like long, short, or medium duration. You can't really customize it, but. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I thought I remember seeing something about it, though. I really think it's gonna kill me all the time. But yeah, they, they, they're... They're, uh, they're gonna be just on screen long enough to be kinda like, in the way. But not long enough to actually read the full message. I've never seen that feature, please tell me where... You'd find that. Here, let me double check right now just to make sure I'm not lying. This is gonna ruin the stream because doing this, going all the way out, is gonna affect it, but I could I could be wrong. I thought I saw something about it. Broadcast overlays, chat position, display chat. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think I might be wrong. Unless it's in notification settings, which w it would be weird if it would be. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Unless this does affect something? You know, I'm gonna put long on for that. I think- what I'm thinking of is just normal PS5 notifications. Normal PS5 notifications you can change to be short, long, extra long. No, that message came up and that didn't affect that. Okay, that's my bad. That's mis- misinformation. I'm sorry. Those are there the PS4 style where they stay until they scroll off and the gameplay shrunk a little bit. It is kind of nice to kind of have that in front of you. I be more reasonable like Oof, I am. I think Cortex killed Cortex. It was brutal. I felt like that was nice for the viewing experience too, because it's like Look, I can see my message on the stream. It's not just like implied that the streamer's getting it. I don't know. It had a little that aspect of interactivity that I think was really nice. I'm not a I'm no, forget it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, that was bad. That was bad. I thought that I would fall, and I caught on the lip of that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I thought I would fall through, but then I caught on it. Doe. All of that Cortex work <laughs> for that. It's not even the challenges they get me. It's not even the actual design of it, it's I just that I, 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 <laughs> I mean, differently. It's just I the mean, little things. Oh, but such is life. You have to learn to roll with the little things. We got this though. We have all the knowledge. It's just my failure to apply that knowledge. That sole TNT in there just to discourage you from head bashing those is so mean. It's like, we want to crash into it, but we can't. 
They won't let us. They just say they need us. I don't think they see us. Who put that banner there? It must have been a must have been a mighty to do to set up this banner. This one. Dash over. I really thought that wasn't gonna do it for a second. They did really capture the Cortex Castle vibe, I feel. I mean, I guess they had help, considering in Vicarious Visions managed to, like, modernize the Cortex Castle vibe. But I still like Toys for Bob, this version of it. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I just realized that I'm standing where I shouldn't be standing. I totally blanked out. I just realized that I <laughs> ruined my whole thing. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I stand there? Um... Uh, no, I can't. I gotta. I, it's it's becoming too familiar, and I'm not locking in anymore. Like, see, because Cortex remembers this. So did he retain while he was in baby form? Did he not retain? And did he learn? I mean, Uka Uka Uka, I guess, told him. It's, it, they kind of explain it, but then they also kind of don't. I don't know. I don't know why it's sticking out to me so much now. Also, I probably said the same exact thing earlier in the playthrough, right? Did I say the same thing? I don't know. It's all so long away. That initial playthrough was so long ago. And I am bored. And we'll be gone. Nope. Need that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Okay, great. Just to make sure I don't slam my head. So these platforms bound to something or did Cortex solve levitation? What's the, what's, the, what's the deal with that? Also, what did I mean that by that? Why did I hit my hand there? What did I mean by that? What did I mean by that? There we go. This one I'm here for. This one I'm here for, because I dash. Oh, what a silly, what a silly man. There must be a way for me to reason with me. You'd think there would be Cortex. You seem like a reasonable radish-shaped man. Alright. Alright. Okay. 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 That jump was n unnecessary. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm, let's 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 watch him. Wait, where's he walking? Where's he going? Masquerade is me, will you? Well, I'm you from the future, you idiot. I I'm not an idiot. You're the idiot, idiot. Get him. Idiot. <laughs> Why don't you have your gun, Cortex? There's an evil doppelganger situation going on. Why don't you have your gun? Should I just do the normal way? I don't want to do the normal way. This is exciting. Oh, I'm going to kill myself if I do it the normal way. <laughs> Oh wait, I don't even... So much pop and circumstance, I didn't even need it. No, 
I bounced! I didn't spin! 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 Ah, I've returned. Welcome back, Sphinx. So it's accurate to assume you've been successful in your endeavors? Uh, largely, yes. We perfected the previous level, and we defeated its inverted version. And now we're on this one, which is somewhat the same level, I but the first bit is different. I mean, and we know where everything I mean, is. I'm just being oh, a very silly, very silly muffin about it. Hey, you don't need to jump for that. We know what to do, though. We can do it with style as well. But hopefully you were successful in your endeavors as well, Sphinx. I freaking... There's a, there's a range where you don't die from that if you're on the platform, and I am constantly skirting it. Constantly. Come on now. Come on, me. This isn't hard, me. Let's do this, me. Let's, fi let's finish this. This is it. This is it. We'll perfect this. We'll get the inverted gems. We'll go home happy. And tomorrow we'll play Play Up. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, crash! You know, there's another bit of lore here. That I'm just now realizing, because, you know, this is really leaning to the whole, you know, Cortex picked Crash Bandicoot. Who called him Crash first? Did Cortex call him Crash first? Is that a name he picked? Did he pick Crash and Coco as names? Did he look at their birth certificates before he started experimenting on them? Crash Bandicoot. When was the first instance of Crash's name being uttered by a character? Did he call him Crash in the original? I remember he goes, darn you! Or just because Cortex is saying Crash here, it'll be Crash later? Spoilers? Oh, is there a spoilery answer? Are you asking me if I'm spoiling? <gasps> okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize that the jelly didn't take. Because the sh something blocked the shot. Why did that shot get blocked by the terrain when the first shot didn't? I hate Crash Bandicoot for doing this. Find out in the flashback tapes. Oh, they do consult that. Oh, they do confront that question. I won't let you know what? Fail. Good on them. I, mean, I, mean, oh, I said consult. Crash. Consult's not the right word, but I didn't realize they would did. All right. Hush my mouth, I suppose. It reminds me of the time I was, uh, it was like during my first playthrough, the first time seeing Tana, and she was like, uh, it's been some time, and she was really awkward about, like, answering what happened in her dimension with them, and, and Co Coco's like, well, we didn't die, did we? And she's like, heh <laughs> so how are you guys been? And as I was talking to Hito, I'm like, man, so she just kind of, jokes aside, her Crash and Coco are freaking dead, though, and he's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was actually going to be a part of the plot. Kind of, not really a part of the plot, but something that gets touched on. I just thought jokes are jokes. They died, Lamau. And I wish it was me that killed them. Or at least Crash. I'm impartial to Coco. Because at least Coco's got, like, cute outfits. And style. Crash, though, if I ever met him IRL, I would I would fight him. I would punch him. I would not be kind. Wait. Thunk. We don't jump down there. We stay here. We stay here. You heard me. If Crash Bandicoot was real, I would fight him. And I would win. And I wouldn't stop when he was on the ground. I would keep punching. I would keep kicking. I would not be polite to him. I would be rude. I would be physically violent towards him. He upsets me. He upsets me. He does. 
Welcome back, Marvelous. Now it hits me in the air! Now it hits me in the air! I knew it would eventually. Hello, Marvelous. Now it hits me in the air. I somehow cheat through it like 50 times, and now it gets me in the air. This level's annoying. And it's doubly annoying knowing I, it's my fault that I'm still on it. But... I won't let me fail. It? I mean, physically fail violent. For cra if Crash Bandicoot was real, I guess. If, if we we're just talking, if Crash Bandicoot was real, and I could meet him in real life, I would not be polite. I would start. I would start swinging. I don't even think I'd get to greetings. I think I'd just start swinging. I, I do I just do not like him, Charlie. I do not like him. And you know what? If when he got when I when he was on the ground, I wouldn't stop. I'd keep going. You'd have to pull me off. And even then, I'd be like I'd be thrashing. I'd be like get me back in there. He's not done. Coco's fine though. I I I'm, I'm, I don't care about Coco. I suppose someone has to tell the tale of what happened to her brother. All right, then we get back here. Crate, crate, implied crate, done. I don't like the enemies that have diff very like non-existent tells in that one Gazmoxian area, but these might be. Do these count as enemies? These count as enemies? Yeah, anger management therapy. Uh, only for Anaya. Uh, I feel like that would get a lot of it on my system. Doing that two crash. I feel like that would like. That that's it. Like, that's just the root of it. Yeah, like, you know the phrase, fight your demons? I just had a chance. Oh. I was there with Melania. It's justified. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Some people I just deserve to die. Like that's what Chucky says. That's what Chucky says. That's not what Scott says. So I don't need to do what I need to do. Swinging them every day, the demons want to fight, they better know I play to win. So I don't even need to do anything with you, I just can... Okay, maybe I do. Wait, why did I get it on the one... Wait, what? Hang on a second. I thought I got... Am I misremembering? I thought I got it on the first bounce. Oh wait, no, did I go from the top... Did I go from the platform? What did I do the first time? I thought I... I mean, I guess I could do that. No, practice run. No, what? No practice run. <laughs> practice runs are for jumps. I, maybe I misremembered what I did. Okay, so I can do that. I can like slide, grab that, bounce. Don't need to worry about changing dimensions and all that. Mostly ones and zeros. Those damn collections of ones and zeros. How they create such iron is so. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. All right, I mean, come on now. Oh, crash. Come on now. Come on now. Please, please, please. Are you? Like that. Honestly, like the most annoying part is how immediate most of my deaths have been. Like after the cortex part. Like I go through all of this hardship and then crash like trips on a bug and dies. Please break. Thank you. These these bullets are like so massive. Not really bullets, but like these waves of energy that I'm shooting are so massive until they're not. It's just never convenient. They're either just too small to hit the thing, or they're so large that they're hitting aspects of the environment that should not be hitting it. 
There's like no in between with you, Cortex. Also, I feel like you should know a better way through your castle. This doesn't seem like the most convenient way to get to you. Is this a- wait, I'm just realizing what music is playing. Is this a- from the PS1 game? Maybe remixed, but... This sounds familiar. I think they do that a couple times. Am I making bad allegations? It sounds familiar as all. There must be a way for me to reason with me. Alright, now we're back here. This section's not really that long once you know what you're doing. Just a lot of waiting, a lot of biting. Whee! I, 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 sorry, it, the timing on that guy, I, I swear it's not consistent. And I'm like, if I go now, I need to wait a little bit, and I waited a little bit too long. I swear that guy's not consistent. Lord, we still chugging it. Oh, is the stream doing okay? Is the stream okay? That's probably a good point to check in. Is the stream doing I mean, okay? I mean, I'm on 30 frames. Oh, are we still crap. buffering a lot? Are we good? But yeah, we're still we're chipping away at this level. And again, it's not the, like the actual... Well, yeah. I mean, no, actually, no, that one time was me. It's just the little, it's just the little things. It's just the little things that aren't even the, like, the, the thrust, like, the concern of the level. That just keep getting me. But we got this, we know everything. Can you hit us to follow for a boy suffering? You're too kind. Make sure you give us the marvelous, uh, marvelous, the same love. And Marvelous is a fellow variety streamer, and today they were playing Elden Ring. I'm sorry, they were playing Melania Ring. They're working their way through beating Melania on a. It's not. It's not their first time through the game, but with this build, Melania is posing a bit of a challenge. Every follow that you give them increases their strength by ten. So make sure you give them a follow if you haven't already. They may finally put this demon to rest. Did you do any leveling up, uh... Any, any stat leveling like we were talking about, Marvelous? Or did you just go in like, nah, I can do this? Alright, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just... You... You... There must be a way for me to reason with me! Well, I guess we hope for good RNG this time, or just... That was too low! That was too soon! 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 I hit my head! I hit my head! Cortex got a concussion. Ten extra levels. Mmm. Mmm. Get that strength. Get that... Ooh. Mostly two vitality and magic. Ah, uh, oh yeah, because you're yeah the uh, moonlight greatsword or greatsword moonlight greatsword equivalent. It's the moonlight greatsword. I won't let me even if they don't call it that. I mean, fail differently. I mean, well, they do call it that? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes crap. they just call it the same thing. Sometimes. I, for I forget. I forget. <laughs> One time I made it across without jumping, and apparently that was a fluke. The only love I love you when you're seeing red. Wah! Meet me, no, not meet me. Read me your merits. 
Never gonna tell if I mean, I'm green See, double, I'm seeing red. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to be around 130, 150-ish. It will probably, I mean, it'll... More levels will definitely never hurt. The Dark Moon Greatsword in this one. Ah, potato, potato. I see. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it's it's the Moonlight Greatsword. It's the Moonlight Greatsword. From Software is so silly. Like sometimes they will be like super fussy. Like no, it's not. It's not that. It's it's not that. It's not Estus. It's uh, Blood Vials. It's uh, what even is Elden Ring's thing? It's uh, Tarnish Juice. It's it's a Rain Energy Drink. But then sometimes they're like, no, no, it's the same sword. It's patches. It's always patches. It's always the same. <gasps> Main issue is that I've gotten one hit away two times, but greed. It, it's the damnable greed. It gets us all. I know th I know too well the vices. Just one more. It's just one more. It'll look so cool if we do it in one more. We don't have to wait through it. Those who dare are not square. Souls vs. Runes, exactly, yeah. Tears! That's it. It's it's Tears. It's Tears that's in Elden Ring, it's not Estus. I couldn't remember for life of me. There must be a way for me to no, but Marvelous, you're gonna have you're gonna be so ready for a Shadow of the Earth Tree, though, because apparently most of the bosses are around Millennia level, according to Miyazaki. Did I stream Shadow of the Earth Tree? I didn't stream any original Elden Ring, did I? You know, I think I streamed for a bit. I jumped too soon. I jumped too soon. I jumped too soon. I distracted myself. No, I streamed a little bit with friends, I think. I don't think I streamed much, though. You know what? I did stream a little bit with friends, because I remember I have a highlight of this really, really stupid invasion. I was playing with a mate, and uh, where were we? We were in... Oh, where were we? We were in, like, the magic school... I can't remember where it was. We were in the magic school area. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, and uh, someone oh, like invaded crap. us, and they kept wanting to like. I don't know. They just were like waiting in a certain area. Like, are they? They're leading us into a trap or something. We gotta, we gotta like be out here. Uh, eventually, we like. I forget what happened exactly, but we like followed them in, and it turns out it wasn't a trap. It was just an elevator. And my friend was like, "Oh, you know what? I've done this before. This is an elevator." I'm like, "Dude." <laughs> We spent like 10 minutes waiting. We spent like 10 minutes waiting. You could have told me that that was an elevator, not a trap. No such as the three times I got close for 75 and oh, 538. He remembers. Oh my goodness. That's how you. That's how you can tell it was really like traumatic. We're, we're, we're spitting exact numbers. We're spitting receipts. When there's over been over 600 attempts. I slipped off right there. Bro. It's hilarious how good I've gotten at the fight, but I still suck. She's she's just she's really powerful, dude. Like, it's not just like you make a mistake. It's like, okay, I made a mistake. Oh no. Ouchies. But now also she's gained like half her health bar back because you made that mistake. <laughs> Like, it's not just that you got hit, and now you have to deal with it, and you have to take your Eastus. It's like, okay, but no, she also took her Estus by doing that. Scared of me, like, true battles. I left down 636. I was gonna ask. I wasn't sure. I, wanted, I wasn't sure. I wanted to know how many exactly we were at. I lost my mind. That you You've held on there longer than I'm sure many people would. It's okay. You, you, it's the knowledge, though. This is what's. This is how Souls games work. 
me to reason you keep throwing yourself at the wall until you understand where every brick is in the wall. And then it becomes your wall. She's just a very strong wall. But you're chipping away at it gradually. So being played with me. Playing naked and no bleed. I, w I was gonna ask, is there a threshold where you go, screw it, I've done my time, and just respecting the like, bleed? I don't like the rhythm we're at here. Why can't I be more reasonable like I am? I am the noble warrior, marvelous misadventure. Fuck you, I win. And then you just break out the bleed build. I mean, playing naked's a, a strategy that a lot of people use, because, you know, it keeps you fast and nimble. And dodge windows for Melania are ext extremely precise. I mean, she hits you for so- she hits you and regains health anyway, so you want to not be hit. Found a way for everyone to be able to jam out with me while playing like a copyright strike. Oh! I'm beating her exactly as you saw. That's fair. So I mean, like, I can do what I did. It's kinda like... Do that. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. So I gotta. I suck! I didn't hit the button! I didn't hit the button! Why didn't I hit the button? All I needed to do was hit the damn button! And I didn't hit the button! I just needed to hit the damn button! All you needed to do. Let's follow the damn train, CJ! Why didn't I hit the button? I'm a fool! I'm a fool! Actually, I'm gonna practice this real quick. So did I? Okay, no, I am hitting this. I'm just really good at it. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Close. It, it, it was close. It was literally one button press away. Why didn't I hit that button? Why didn't I hit that button? It's, it's, it's always been, like, the instinct that just always comes to me naturally, and very, very suitably, playing this I portion of the level, fail. is just I hitting R2 as soon as I get a new mask. I mean, At least oh, most masks. Crash. I've been doing that kind of instinctively, and it just works out. And that's like the one time... <laughs> no, I hit the wrong. That I hit the wrong button there. I'm thinking of masks, and I hit the mask button. That a uh, cortex. That's the shoot button. A cortex is the the R2 is the shoot button. R1 is the dash button. And now I've mistaken. I've mistaken them. All right, first try. First try. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we'll be playing Crash Bandicoot 4. This is part 19. We have one more pla uh, one fail. more perfect relic I mean, to achieve. It's going to be on scene double. I mean, this is my first time playing this level, so I hope I do very well at it. I'm pretty pretty much an expert at this point. I pretty much know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to Crash, though, so even though I haven't seen this level before, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to tackle it. It's just a Cortex section overall, and I, I'm a well-documented Cortex enjoyer, so this should be fine. Right, this thing here, I know because I'm just so in tune. Marvelous, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, my friend. Very generous of you. Right, so then... Oh, you're in the right spot. Too far. I wasn't. I th I, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I thought I was like too far. And I needed to dash, but then I realized I. I was at a weird. I was at a weird part where I was like a little too far to normal jump, but a little too close to dash, and I just did nothing. Ah! Why am I doing this to myself? 
It's like Radio said, you do this to yourself, but now, Dal. And that's what really hurts, but you do it to yourself. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean... It's, I'm like Benoit Blanc. I'm bad. How did I miss everything with that? I missed that. Hit everything else. What am I saying? Like Benoit Blanc. I'm bad at dumb things. Marvelous, thank you for the 145 bits. Far too kind. <laughs> there it is. Whoop. And we still have to do the inverted version too! Ah! Oh, and here I was worried we were going to have a short stream, and I was thinking about how am I going to fill that remaining hour. I have ideas. We'll see if I need it. We'll see. I might still do it anyway. There we go. Lock in. Please. 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 Duty sale. And that's what it really is. Only 129 crates. Shouldn't be bad. Less than the original. It'd be great. To be fair, it was supposed to be oh, 245 all once. Oh, I see, I see. But even in installments, it is very appreciated, brother. Thank you. Am I late? Oh, just not barely late. There must be a way for me to reason with me. Just barely on time. Three, four, five, and it's broken! And the crowd goes wild! Ah! Ooh. You piece of shit! I swear it's not consistent. I swear it's not consistent. It's a matter of proximity. Does it start shooting when I'm at a certain distance? Is it a variable that I can control? Or is it just chaos? I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, crash! <laughs> crash! Oh, crashly bashly. Subscribe one day, that's how you know I'm a big streamer. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I need to get something for subscribers. I have a... I have... <laughs> I mean, Zoche is really the only one who really consistently does it. And I don't even know why he consistently does it. It's too. He's too kind for doing it. I don't have any emotes or anything. I guess ad-free viewing. It's kind of nice, but... I, I need to get something. I have an idea for one emote. I just need to find someone who'd be good at it. The thing is, I just don't know what the emotes would be. I have an idea of what they could be. I don't know if I'd be what they should be. Sochi's still here, Sochi. <laughs> because support, I appreciate your support, brother. Far too kind to keep it up like you do. I was happy to help you. We love the channel. I love having you all here. Love being able to do stuff like this. All right, get that, get that. Break, 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 I almost probably killed myself there. So I'm doing my emotes a bit in real pain due to my peanut-sized brain. Are you making your own emotes? I have one idea. Like I have, I have a couple ideas for what they could be.
And I have one that's completely different. Do my animations. I see, I see. There must be a way for me to reason with me. He's going the honest working man's route. I'm just thinking about who can I who can I hire out. I'm thinking capitalistic. I have a couple ideas. Well, that would be characters from my books, doing like little pog posts or whatever. But there's one also that I'm thinking of. I want Homer. I want Homer Simpson going a mess. Cause that's like a, that's like a, a running joke. Or running reference, I guess. Mostly on my YouTube. It's like the only like real like running joke. <laughs> Too broke. That's fair. I just need to spend money. Uh, want, does anybody know what I'm talking about? There's a, I think it's like season 14, Lisa the Tree Hugger. I remember that episode. I remember all the titles and stuff like that because it's my, it's like one of my favorite Homer episodes. He's just so weird and chaotic in that episode. Uh, in that episode, Lisa has this crush on this activist boy, and so to impress him, she agrees to stay overnight on top of uh, the oldest tree in Springfield to make sure loggers don't cut it down. I wanted to land on that, and I should have kept going. Damn it! It's always this. It's always this little. It's always these little things. Uh, but right. But so she does. But then she like she can uses binoculars and she sees into the house and she's like, well, the family's having a really great time. They're decorating for Christmas and painting Easter eggs. Well, you know, maybe I could go in for just a little bit. So she goes home, falls asleep, wakes up. Tree's falling down. Let me fail. I mean, Irish kid? No, that's from the movie. I mean, no, this is some. Uh, this is some other kid. Uh, but the tree's fallen down, and so she's like, "Oh no!" Because I left, the loggers cut down the tree. That's not what happened. It got struck by lightning, so it's actually good she went home. But of course, people think that Lisa was in that tree, and therefore she's dead. And so on the news, they're holding the, a whole thing like, "Farewell, Lisa, little Lisa, you live in our hearts." And Homer sees it, and he's like, "Oh no, Lisa's gone. She's dead, and she's never coming back." Unless, and then Lisa's on the couch. So he's like, "Dad, I'm right here." He's like, "Oh, praise God, you're alive." Unless, <laughs> it's like, what did he mean by that? Why does he mean unless? Unless what? <laughs> unless what, Homer? Both instances. Unless, and I, I've always. That's just. I think about that all the time. And I use that all the time. And so I want to have an emote based on that because because I think about it all the time. I guess I think about it all the time, it, it ended up being a, a bit of a running joke that I implemented while doing the Ratchet and Clank series on YouTube. And so I'm thinking, like, that's like the one... Uh, that's something that could be an emote. I, 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 I reference that a lot too, I think, on stream. Do I have a reference to a lot on stream? I should. Unless... <laughs> it's just so like, unless what? <laughs> Like this, like this man's cooking up something devious. Like, what do you mean? There's nothing to cook up. Meet with the Irish kid, unless. No, that was the movie, unless. Nah, nah, nah. But say, unless. So I want that as an emote. And so I just need to find a good uh, artist who can like. I mean, I don't even. I don't even know the artist. Someone who can like just kill me and end my existence or someone who can just like take that uh scene and like brush out the background and so it's just homer nice and clean that's what i want for sure I'm trying to do what ron swanson playing yes flute yes flute unless I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. Oh, I'm spending too long on this level. Let's wrap this up. I still need to do the inverted version. Unless... <laughs> oh, it was here. Why are you here so soon, Bat? Does that nerd have a ponytail? 
Have there have there have there been female nerds this whole time? Ooh. I didn't know it was from. It's from there. Now you know. I just remember it so vividly. There's another thing where Homer's t in that episode where Homer's talking to the activist, and the activist's like, "This it was her choice, Mr. Simpson. She could do this." And he's like, "I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was lost in your eyes." <laughs> it's like, well, one that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, Homer. Also, why are you announcing that? Why are you announcing that? <laughs> Just such a chaotic Homer one. Oh, he's not gonna. Oh, I thought it was late. I love that, that episode's fun. What one did I watch today? I I've been. I was watching the the one where Homer is friends with Flanders. That one's full of lines that I, I didn't even remember that it had. That one's so good. Going in and out of the fe uh, the hedge that exists solely for the one bit. What was it? Was there something near the beginning of the episode? I'm like, that's this one? What was it? I can't remember. Forgive me, I'm a little distracted. So we're Moe's reading to the sick children as well. This thing I heard say with DVD. Okay, so I do say it on the stream. Okay, so I can justify getting it as a twitchy mode. Excellent. Excellent. This is excellent news. See, I thought I had a lead. I thought I was like, oh, I know who I can ring up for this because Hito got some emotes that are basically like the same sort of style that I'm thinking about. Where it is uh, a Homer, and there's a Homer one and there's a Fry one, and it, it's it's them doing very meme things with no background. And I'm like, oh, whoever did this edit, that's per that's beautiful. I want that. So Hito, how, who who did you get? You know, he kept me in suspense for a while. I was like, hey, uh, what artist did you use? He's like, oh, I'll tell you in a bit. I'm like, yo, tell me now. Oh, he didn't kill me. And eventually he's like, okay, so I didn't actually hire an artist. I bought him off Redbubble. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, they just do. you can do that. And it's like, oh, okay, well, thank you for <laughs> bearing that lead. I don't like this rhythm that we're on right now, bud. Why can't I be more reasonable like I am? Yeah, DB, DBD, DBD is the acronym. But a lot of people do use the letter L in describing DBD in certain aspects of it. Womp. So you're not far off. What are we not gonna do, chat? We're not gonna be silly. Silliness. It's a pernicious disease. We're gonna lock in. We're gonna get this shit done. I'm gonna wait. Ooh. Also, Photoshop. I don't have Photoshop right now. Do a short bounce to change that rhythm cycle. Ah, I see. A good, a, a good point that I am now <laughs> well past. But thank you, BJS. When I inevitably need to do it again, I didn't mean to walk on that. <laughs> Chat, I'm hitting the button. Chat, I hit it. I hit it. Chat, I hit the button. I hit the button this time. I hit the button, chat. I did it. I'm a button pusher. Well, B Jazz, the our go-to guy when it comes to Crash Four stuff. Alright. What purpose do these lasers serve, Cortex? What purpose do those lasers serve, Cortex? Oh, because they don't, certainly don't stop me from getting the last perfect relic I need. They certainly don't stop me from getting the last perfect relic I need. Hell yeah! Alright, there we go. That is all 38 perfect relics in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. GG's, indeed. Alright, BJs, you wanted it, you've begged for it. 
our percentage is 97%. And so I'm going to get 1% from doing this inverted version of the level, and then would it be, well, is there more percent in getting the hidden, or the inverted gems? Look at all those numbers. Look at those wonderful numbers. Okay. Now let's, let's, let's wrap this up. That's all the perfect relics. That's every level gone through. Breaking all the boxes without dying. Whew. And now to wrap up, let's get these last gems. Finish that count. What am I looking at here? Oh, I know what I'm looking at here. Oh, 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 oh. You'll be staring like oh, oh. 1% for the inverted and then 2% for the gem. Alright, so we will be at 100% after this. Interesting. We'll be able to see that ending then, because we get a, a special ending for getting 100%. Ooh, exciting. Oh, and now we don't really have as much of a crunch in terms of dying. It'd be nice to do this with a minimal amount of deaths, so we don't have to replay this too many times, but... We have to do it, we have to do it. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. Right. The last I inverted mean, level. The, the shitty, like, gun sound effect. That's pretty cute. I really wish they went all out and just made it, like, actual PS1 style. Like, actual, like, PS1 graphics, not just, like... It's all pixely. It's so retro-y, you know? Some sacrifices require the strongest wills. Hardest choices. Hardest choices, Sphinx. Oh, does that mean you're gonna go play with Ida? In which case, it requires such a, a strong will indeed. Oh, I almost overshot. Let's get this little cheeky bump back there. By the end of this, we're gonna have 100% chat. We'll be at 100% of this game. No? Okay. <laughs> good. You know what? Good. Good, speaks. He doesn't deserve you. He promised me a spot. I joined stream. He, he promised you a spot before, even. Because he was talking about with, uh... What was he playing? He was playing... Was he playing... Something. He was playing something. He's like, let's, you know, I will give you a spot in Dead by Daylight tomorrow. Wait, I won't be playing Dead by Daylight tomorrow. Never mind. And then he laughed and pushed a kid down the stairs. I remember that. So you're like twice owed a spot. I don't know why he couldn't just swap to Survivor. That's it's it's insane. He just doesn't care. I've been called a cheeky bump. I believe it. You cheeky bump. Did they mean it in good faith, though? That's the real question. Because I feel like that could go either way. Exactly. Damn. Do I have to? Do I have to go in there and use a redeem? To say the word, Sphinx, I will spend some channel points. I'll make him swap. This is the thing with Hito, though, too. He's like, after my killer dailies, but the thing is, Hito sucks his killer. And so it's, he's gonna take, like, a thousand years. And he knows he's gonna take a thousand years. It's crazy. It's crazy that he does that. It's crazy that he's intentional about it. What did I just... Okay, so we get... Oh yeah, oh, this is what yeah you were talking about, BJs. You could just get infinite points like this. I see. Why can't I, be more reasonable I don't like what like I've done. I, I don't like what I've done at all. Yeah, his promises mean absolutely nothing. He, he's just not trustworthy in the slightest. Oh, he's Dino Grooving. Oh, Dino Dance is back. They changed it for like a day for like Pokemon or something. 
Or he's holding and leave me alone because he'll continue doing that. Sometimes he just, yeah, we just gotta be, be the bigger person, Sphinx. Just let him know, like, he's not worth your time, Sphinx. Ah. Oh, this guy's kinda scary. Oh, jeez, that was scarier! Hit and jump! Oh, you're right. I passed it, didn't I? I passed it, didn't I? I did. Hey, Coco. Can I get back? Can I get back? If I write this? <laughs> How far back does this bring me? Yeah, I don't think... Okay. Yeah, no, there's no way back. I completely forgot. Die. So this is oh this is right above it. This is right above. Oh wait, no. My I... Oh, I think I I can I make it back? He said yeah, I saw it. I saw it too late though. I think I might be kind of screwed here. Unless I can get that. What's over there? Can I make it back? I I think I might have I think I might have screwed myself. Yeah, I think I screwed myself. No, my potential second perfect relic that doesn't exist. How galling. <laughs> no. Whoops. The perfect run is spoiled. I'll, ha I'll, I'll have to run back. Oh, I hit the button too soon. That's like the first time I've messed up in this specific sequence. It's right. We'll, we will. We will rebuild. I like that. It's safe there. We'll come back. We'll come back. What's what's one what's one more? We've already spent like s seventy million hours in this game. What's what's one more? What's one more? What's one more? Backwards and forwards. That's the trophy for beating all the inverted levels. Real quick, real quick. Remember everything we just did? It's cool. Let's do it again. Let's do it again real quick. Let's do it again. I completely tunnel vision past that. Tunnel past that. My, my, my one gem. My one fail. gem. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, my gem. I need it. Oh, the speed run begins. Ooh. 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 The waiting begins. All right. Just get me over there. Thought I fell. Hmm? I'm still gonna do the, nor the the thing I've been doing here because I'm. That's the way I've been getting across. Still got some tricks left. Ow, my fucking head! <laughs> been shot in it. My one weakness. How did they know? Shot in the head. Oh, 
Ah oh Son of a bitch Son of a bitch So BJS, is there consistency with this enemy here, or is it just kind of like... Good luck. Man, it's a good thing that was there, that nerd was gonna die. That one enemy there... That one enemy in the, uh... That one where you... You jump off. Oh wait, shoot! It's up there. Okay. What am I on, by the way? Ah, oh, got it. Oh shit, I didn't fall through. <laughs> Fine. Uh, that one enemy on like the far side of the wall, like, it's left in the inverted version. Or you, after the laterally moving platform, you jump on the vertically moving platform, and then you dash past their like projectile. Is that enemy's behavior consistent, or does it just kind of shoot without care to like rhythm? Getting out of the getting out of Cortex Castle with this one team. I fucking died, Lamel. I'm not getting out of shit. <laughs> Oop, too soon. Too soon. Too excited. is really tough. There's a rhythm to it, but sometimes the gap is easy, other times it's hard. It sounds like there's not a there's a rhythm, but it's not a consistent one then. Is what I feared. No! I let go a little too I let it let it cook a little bit too long. You won't stop me. That's my perfect relic Rick! That's my perfect relic, Rick! I mean, I do already have the perfect relic, but that's my final gem, Rick! No, I did too long. Too close. That's my gem, Rick! Finding more consistent way through there. I swear that it's 2.5D and you can move closer or further to be safe. But I stopped trying that with the dash and said, "I see, I see." Yeah, it's so, it's so weird. Rick, my relic. That's my relic, Rick. There we go. And with that, that would be 100%. Now in this game, 100% is not 100%. But as far as as far as numbers go, 100% completion. Oh, they don't even, like, play it. You have to go to the gallery to view it. Give me my laurels here. All right, let's see. Let's see what hap hey, what's happens here. Abandoned his heavy metal lifestyle for one of Who's talking? Jazz. His album, My Heart is a Doomsday Device, is currently number one in elevators all over the world. He'll be playing in the hotel bar from 3 to 3.30.
Wh wh what a hotel? Who? Wh what? Embryo was caught and caged after being mistaken for. Oh, that's right. I forgot squirrel. he turned into that. He is on display in the art of taxidermy at Ripper Rules Curious Cabinet of Curiosity. We're popping off. We're popping off. It's hundred percent, baby. To fuel his need for speed, Oxide became hooked on caffeine. He was hired as the spokesperson for a leading brand of energy drink. He is currently in rehab. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> he's gotten... He's just decided, there, like, I'm gonna be an addict. Cortex's lab assistants found themselves in need of a new gig. They was he actually paying blip, them? Turning it into a successful pop-up shop, specializing in healing crystals. Oh, they're, they've been hippies this whole time? Dingo Dial franchised his restaurant operation. <laughs> it's me. With Dingo's Diner rising to become the Wait, first name. Those are real people. Fast casual dining. I guess the nerds were kind of real they people, but those are like people. Official citing record health code violations. The original location remains open during its condemnation. So wait, is this the the the, the different? After successful is this, is this, these are the different versions. Dorado, Atlantis. These aren't like the the, the, the uh, 616 versions. Tana is taking a brief hiatus. Nathan Drake. Oh, you asshole. Recenter. She's recently taken up scrapbooking. She's not very good yet, but she's getting uh, Spyro. Spyro. She's, she's playing the Spyro cassette. After trying and failing Nina. to invent the world's first self-flying flying car, Coco found a new career as an esports. Nina champion. Cortex. She's real. Don't forget to follow the stupid chickens Coco from CDR. Smash that adore button. Kick ass Coco. The dimensions have heard nothing more. The doctor's trophy since Crash foiled their plans. But Evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. What even happened to him? We sent him to hell. And as for me, <laughs> well, let's just say... I'm Ain't no way fun. in hell. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in... I refuse. I refuse. This is a sting. This is not correct. That wasn't... That was a, That was Westworld Crash Bandicoot. That was an automaton. That was not the... That, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. He didn't do it. He's... That's not possible. No. It was him. It was that orange bastard Crash. No. No. What do they mean by that? I didn't approve. I don't approve. What the hell was that? <laughs> you can't just do that. You can't just do that. You can't just make him talk like that. Look at this. You can't just make him talk like that. You can't just do that. You can't just make him talk like that. So intel in so intelligently? You can't make him sound like the kind of guy who's ever picked up a book in his life. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that he could do it, and I refuse to believe that he has the capital to do it. Like, he, he rented the studio. He's in a studio. People let him in and to do that. I refuse. I refuse. You shouldn't talk. That's just wrong. I, why is he talking so, like, elegantly then? I'm, I'm, I'm just as confuzzled. Why did they, why did they do that? Also, he very cl he very cleverly dodged the question. Like, oh, this character became really successful. This character has become like really at, at really recentered. They're feeling really good about themselves right now. And I'm also okay. <laughs> so Crash is homeless, right? Like, he's like, I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> like, he's he's hiding something. We're not getting the full story. Next time on Behind the Bandicoot. I'll be honest, that single thing kind of just like that, like, like that was a cute ending. That was a cute, like, eh, that's where everybody ended up. I don't necessarily feel like I needed to get 100% for that. I feel like they could have rolled that anyway, like, over the credits, but... You know, you know, it's fine, it's kind of cute. That single moment, though, kind of ruined it, because that's all I'm thinking about now. But I'm thinking about, like, why is he talking? I don't care that it's a joke, why is he talking? Why is he talking? That's weird. I don't like that, it's weird. Zero stars. Refunding my purchase. Bearing the disc in the yard. Anyway, but on a happier note, look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. We have successfully gotten all of the gems, all of the perfect relics, every single crate in this game accounted for, and done so without dying. 
quite the task, quite the task. These are some very long, very involved levels with a lot of parts that you need to do consecutively, perfectly, and sometimes against <laughs> very stacked odds, very inconsistent things. But we're here. Nineteen and a half parts later. We've gotten hold of the perfect relics. Classic. Thus ends this major step in getting towards 106%. Now the annoying part is because we ended up cleaning up with so many of these collectibles here, you know, 400 whatever gems, 38 uh, perfect relics, all of the tapes as well, all the inverted versions, our percentage like steadily increased. But uh, now we're going to have to deal with, like, <laughs> nothing. We're going to be sitting at 100%, then all of a sudden be at 102%. Uh, I tried to hit list. <laughs> piss off, man. Piss off. I'm fighting for my life just trying to get through. <laughs> what are the ends? So the ends are what we're going to be tackling next time we play Crash. So those are relics specific to a unique kind of level here. Oh, there's the TV over here. So those tapes that we've been gaining... No! Don't go! Don't go over there, Crash! The tapes that we've been getting have been unlocking these levels here, these flashback tapes. And so, as you can see here, a lot of levels, 21 levels. We beat the first one that we beat, that we uh, that we got. So these are going to be like souped-up bonus levels essentially. And as you can see, you get good relics depending on how well you complete them. If you break all the crates, then you get the best relic. So we're going to be tackling that next time, just to get through these. Take a little break from the main levels. See these levels that we haven't even seen yet. Like, <laughs> imagine that. We've spent so many tens of hours playing this game, and there are levels we haven't seen. How many hours in the save file? That's a great question. Let's find out. I think it should be like 55 or something like that. Oh, 53. So we're at 53 hours, according to the game. PlayStation says we're at a little bit more than that. I don't know if PlayStation is counting, like, loading screens, or, you know, I'm going to upload I don't know if PlayStation is counting, like, loading screens, if there's certain parts of this game that it doesn't count. Uh, so there's a little bit mismatch. PlayStation says it's longer, but you know what? I'll take, I'll take this slightly reduced time. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a journey. I mean, we've been playing this weekly, multiple times for, you know, hours of stream for quite some time it adds up and we're not done yet you think that 50 hours you think that 53 hours is like that's that's enough for a crash bandicoot game not we we've still got plenty more to do here we've got two different kinds of relics to earn uh actually real quick while i'm here since it's it's late enough that i could end it but i want to do something real quick here uh because some people in chat may not be aware of this i know some of the crash maestros crash aficionados uh, among us will probably know this, but uh, do you know this game is multiplayer? Some people in chat, some people watching this archive on YouTube, do you know this game is multiplayer? See this? Bandicoot Battle. Yeah, there's different kinds of, uh, different, there's different modes, so you can do checkpoint race or crate combo. And so you can just random level, yeah, just do a random level, I guess. And so... It's not multiple controllers. It's not like Crash Bash, where it's a party game. Not anything like that. I'm pretty sure the crate one is the same thing, but I think the time is also the same. You see, pass the controller to player one. And so, I'm player one. I'm going. And I'm going. Oh, and I died. And that's my time. So, player one got however long they got. And so, player two goes now. It's the same controller. And now I go. And oh, look, I'm already doing better than they are. There we go. And so I won. And then I guess we go again. I hate to pass the controller crap. What? This isn't exciting you to your core? Hey, look at this. I'm now I'm going. Player one's going to redeem themselves. Oh no, but then he accidentally went to the left! Oh, player one, you silly goofball. What are you doing here? Player two, show him how it's done. <laughs> player two got hit immediately. Ooh. 
Wait a second here. I think the fact that I don't think it matters too much because why is that bound there? And so now player two goes and it's like, look, I got another star. Do I have to go through all of this? Is there not like two out of three? Well, <laughs> just keep doing this, I guess. This looks fun. Oops. And so you just pass it back and forth. I'm player two. <gasps> Sphinx, you're- look at- oh, look at Sphinx go! Look at Sphinx go! They nailed that one. I've gotten the checkpoint 11 seconds. Damn. Player one wishes. Player one wishes. Player one wishes. Instead, player one does this. D that's not even near the door, player one. What are you doing? But player two. So good and so strong. to just absolutely shred this level. You see this? You see what player two is capable of? Checkpoint four. How many fucking checkpoints are there? Player one's trying. He's trying his best, but the platform's not there, you silly mook. You silly mook. You silly little gamer. Are we gonna have, wait, we have to do this too? Is it really the whole level? Bro, player one didn't even get to this portion. Look at this. Player one's throwing his counter betting. Oh, it might be. We have to investigate this. Oh my! <gasps> no! Player two! I'm so close with player two. So big and so strong. Alright, alright, player one, let's see here. The allegations are that you're throwing player one. Is this true? Is this accurate? Is this accurate, player one? Is this accurate? I don't think it could be accurate. But then he kicks the TNT? Player one? Hello? What an upset. What an upset in this, this great sport of checkpoint race. Just a million dollar bet before the showdown. Oh my goodness. He's playing with mom money. But player two. Not. A, not. A, not. No fear. No fear at all. And again, it's not, like, multiple controllers going here. Oh, player one. Oh, player one. Is that how you want to be remembered, player one? Not like player two. Look at player two. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at player one go to hell. Bye-bye, bud. I think player two is meant to slide there, but it's fine. It's all part of their process. I trust them. Thunder. It's thunder, I said. See, he's covering his play. Yeah, I got a trophy, fleet of feet. And so there you go. <laughs> that's that's checkpoint race. And then there's also crate combo, which PJ says is more fun. Let's just do the, the the basic level, I guess, the first level of the game. And so you can play either checkpoint race or you can play crate fight. So pass the controller to player one. Oh, I see. Oh, so, wait, 30, wait, what? Why does it have 32 on it? So is this one just like highest combo? Or wait, are these crates worth eight? Oh, I see now. Oh, player one! <laughs> no! Oh, I see. I see. So it's the uh, it multi it's a multiplier. I see. So you just go through. I see. You're trying to keep the combo up. Oh, and it's also checkpointed. All right, player one, it's your time to shine. What the hell, player one? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? You're never gonna be shit. You're never getting out of the manual leagues with that. I see. So the combo stays up, and that informs how much you get. I see. I see. I see. Are you not? I didn't even notice that there was. In, I didn't even notice that there's a whole like Aku Aku appears in that crate. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Surely with Aku Aku, you'll be fine, right? Surely you won't get eaten by a spider, player one. But player one eaten by a spider. Who could have predicted? There's nothing we could have done there. And so my goodness, it's like he doesn't want, even want to be here. Oh, and player one, oh, player two's just, player two's just rubbing it in. Because they can, because they have the ability. Player one missed! But he'll land on the grind rail, right? He did, but surely he'll make the jump. That's not jumping, player one! That's falling! Not even with style! So these crates come back, that's interesting. I can't believe it. I can't believe player one would do this. And so this is just this is this is the extent of the, the multiplayer here. You just kinda pass it back and forth. And you can have this up to four people, so up to four people can test their crash acumen. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, player two. I didn't even need those. <laughs> to three. <laughs> Alright. Punch him. Player one, art. I on okay. I I think we need to check the. We need to check. We need to check. Make sure there's no insider betting going on here. Because I'm I'm starting to agree. This is getting suspicious. Is there anything in the potty? No, no. There's a gem in there in the regular version of the level. Let's go over that. I mean, did player two just go over that? That was really cool of them. All right, player two, player one, player one, go right. What an absolute, what an absolute travesty. What am I witnessing here? What a horrible day for the sport of crate breaking. Oh, it's all right, they knock out the spider in one hit. This first level is a lot longer than some sports fans remember here. Yeah. Oh, what, what, oh, what the hell was that? So if, so, you know, it looks like going. I think some of these crates are in different locations compared to the regular level. And player two just makes it look easy. Oh, so the checkpoint's 100, that's fun. Honestly, like, why, why, why even show up if you're gonna play like this player one? Are you proud of yourself, player one? What you're doing here? Well, player two, not even put off slightly. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah, that's the that's the extent of the multiplayer, and you can just pass it back and forth between even more people if you want. Uh. Or if you don't want to play mini games, I'm pretty sure you can just go to a level. Any level will do. Like you could even go back to the original level. Or actually, actually I don't think you need to do this. Okay, oh wait, no, you can just turn on. So I think. Pass and play is just on now, so if you want to do what I just did, but in a normal level, you can do that. So like, is it on? Is it enabled? Oh no, I didn't turn it on. Okay, so two players. I, I didn't turn it on, silly. Okay, so now it's checked off. So now if I go into this level, then the same rules are going to apply. It's just the normal level. But every checkpoint, it's gonna swap who's playing. So I guess if you're at a house party and everyone there is a Crash Bandicoot fan, and everyone's like, "Well, no, I want to play Crash. No, I want to play Crash." Fellas, fellas, ladies, however you identify, we can all play Crash Bandicoot together. Is that the only bore in this game? So now player two goes, and now player two's in control. And it, it's just one of those kind of things that makes you beg the question. Did I need the game to do this for me? 
Can I just, you know, hold on to the con like past the controller when I'm done? Best for siblings that fight over the controller, I guess. But I mean, what's to stop him from just holding it? <laughs> Like, I just feel like, <laughs> I want to be at that party. It'd be, it'd be lit, yo. People be getting crunk on Crash Bandicoot. Crunk Bandicoot. Like, that's not, like the only instance I could think of, yeah, it's like, oh, Mom said, or Crash said it's my turn on the Crash. Like, if you want to enforce it. But, like, jeez. Were they originally planning on doing something more elaborate? Like, one just has to wonder where, like... Where the intent came from. Were they just like, ah, oh, we want multiplayer in it, so... And this, this is the way we preserve the sanctity of the game? Like, I can understand if you don't want to go all the way and be like Crash Bash, but this isn't like, this is not even like, <laughs> this isn't, this is, there's no bash. There's no bash, only Crash. I mean, let's go for all the crates, why not? Why are we even going for all the crates? There's no point. Yeah, this is, this is, this is weird to me. This is, this is weird. This is weird. I, I just, uh, just because they could have, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it doesn't like ruin the game. It's not like it's a feature that because we have it is like Crash Four is a worse product because of it or anything like that. But it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that they saw this as uh, as something that had to be included. I mean, especially considering it's just passing the controller. Like, if it was, like, a multiple controller thing, I'd understand. Like, okay, that's something. But it's not. It's literally just, like, I could create this mode myself. I don't need the game to be, like, pass the controller. I could just pass the controller. Or not hold... Or not pass the controller. I could just hold on to it and tell my sibling to eat shit. Like, I don't need the game to do that for me. I can just do that. You know? It's kind of weird. I guess if you just both really want to play Crash Bandicoot at the time, like... You got a trophy. No, it's my turn. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I mean, if you want to earn the, uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to do that, if you want to... If you want to earn the things together... I don't know, with your significant other... Or kidnapping victim, like I don't know. I don't know. It's it's pass and play, just like the old days. Pass the control on death at checkpoints and originals go to I mean, like again, do I? I don't really need. The, do I really need the game to do that for me? I mean, this is how I basically play my Resident Evil games now. I just, I just pass the controller over to Logan. We don't need a whole overlay to do it. We just remotely throw the controller between one another. It's not that big a deal. Uh, anyway, uh, the real reason I did that is because, well, one, I feel like people didn't know about that, and I thought that was an interesting thing to note. Uh, but two, there's some trophies for doing all of that, for playing a game of each specific mode in multiplayer, playing some pass and play, and I figured if I'm gonna go for, like, total completion in this game, and I'm streaming all of it, I might as well stream that too. So there you go, I did the multiplayer stuff, that's checked off the list. I don't, I don't know what else you want from me. Have you done all the trophy side quests? I have not. There's a couple of those that I haven't done. Should I do those real quick? Now that I mention it? Should I do those while I'm thinking about it? Should we just do some cleanup right now? Like everything that's not essential collectibles? Chat, what are we feeling? Do we want to call it here? Or do we want to do some extra bonus stuff? The bonus stuff isn't that exciting. But, I mean, it's stuff for trophies. How do we feel, chat? Do we want to save it? Or do we want to go? I'm I'm seen to do it. That's a 100% do it return right now. I might as well do it. Might as well do it. So I'm pretty sure this is one of them because this is the car one. 
some bonus stuff here. So this stuff here, you won't be able to see it because of the overlay on PS5, but uh, this extra stuff here, there's some stuff that you need to spin in levels and earn trophies. I got a few of them on the main playthrough, uh, but there's some that I missed, and I'm pretty sure one of them is here. So I need to make music in an unlikely place. There's some cute little things if you spin certain aspects of the environment in certain levels. That's actually how you get one of the gems. And one of them is in this level here. I thought I could sneak in there and kick his little face off. This guy greedy. So we'll, we'll hard target those real quick. Because again, we're going for everything else. We might as well do this. I was debating if I wanted to do this now, or wait. We'll do it now. We'll do it now. Chad has convinced me. So, it's not here, it's further ahead. It's gonna be around this bend. There's something I gotta spin. Honestly, like, levels like these feel so, like, primitive now. Oh no, not the, not, not the, not the, not that, not that. So I think it's, okay, there it is, yeah, so it's, there's a couple of these, you see they're a little bit out, they're a little bit differently colored, compared to other, compared to some of them, some of them are a little brighter, so I think there's more on this side? Is there more ahead? I, I know generally this one, but... Let's see, there's, there's like six. There must be more ahead. Maybe I'll double check real quick if there's more ahead, so... You gotta hit six of those for a trophy. There were some at the start. Wait, were there really? Oh, I thought they were all only over here. I thought they were only over there. Okay, let me restart real quick then. I don't remember which ones you have to hit. Well, we'll use our keen detective senses. I should also pull up the guide though, because there's another one that I don't remember that I don't have. Yeah, what we're doing here is just for trophies. But it's fun, right? The trophies are fun. Again, we're doing everything. Might as well, might as well go for it, right? Go, go for everything. We'll hit it all. Okay, so see right there. Oh, just these three. Okay, because you can see they kind of stick out a little bit. It's subtle, but it's it's noticeable if you're looking for it. Ooh. These flame blaster things are probably in Crash Team Rumble the most annoying thing. They're a, a map-specific hazard, and they suck. Unless you can get them for your team, like, they are just really annoying. Let's see this one. There we go, Junkyard Jams. Just gotta spin those six things. So if you're looking for trophies in Crash 4, make sure you spin those things. It's that simple. Okay, what's the last thing? There's one more of these little side things that I haven't done. Uh, is it that one? No. Check your gems. Hammer it home. There it is. Oh, I know. Okay. Oh, this one. This one. This one's gonna be in. I okay. Yeah, I do remember this one. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to this level here. And we're going to do basically the same principle of spinning the right things. We're going to be spinning some gongs. Again, all this is for is a trophy. Which makes it incredibly important to do. Is that one of them? Actually, wait. How big are these things? Oh, I think that was one of them. Okay. So we're looking for those. Uh, you can tell, but okay, because it's got the effect, yeah. Oh, remember when we were on this level for like three hours? 
Because this is one you have to you have to get through this level without breaking a single box to get the blue gem. So on top of getting all the usual stuff, like all the uh, like the hidden gem, inverted gem. That's not a one wing one. The perfect run, we had to get through this level without breaking a single box. It is harder than it sounds. Sounds like it's not gonna be that bad. Just don't hit any boxes, idiot. This level's just full of so much stuff. Like you have to get like you have to go through that, you have to land perfectly without destroying anything. There's an equivalent gem in Crash 2, I believe. There's one of the things up there. Nope, that's one of them I'm pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> Did it a few times just to be sure. Cheeky times. In Crash 2, you have to get through a level without breaking any boxes for that gem. But I mean, Crash 2, Crash 2 is like a level with like 50 crates in it. And you don't have this. It's not usually a shitty power up. It's pretty nice, but the purposes of not breaking any crates is pretty shitty. It's pretty destructive. That's another thing. That's another lore thing that I definitely did talk about. I definitely did talk about it the first time. Uh, so where, what, what's the status on Brio? Because Brio's kind of back to being a bad guy, even though in Crash 2 he was a good guy. He was against Cortex, and now he's kind of like, yeah, whatever. I'm back to being a bad guy. Like, how did that ha Like, how did that happen? How did that happen? Bob, what did that mean when you made that your toy? What did that mean? What does for Bob mean by that? I think Kate already probably went to bed, so we won't get we won't get quite the uh, the answer we want. But. Is that not? I thought there was four. Is there more than four? I... There's like a... Okay, so I guess I... There's like a fifth one? And the fifth one... Like, I hit one of them. That doesn't count. That's weird. That's kind of... That's kind of weird. Well, we'll go back and get that. Yeah, what, what, what's Brio's deal? Like, is he supposed to be... In two, he's a good guy. I hit it. It counts. I don't know if it counts on this. Wait. He's a, he's a good guy. He's the good guy. He's the good guy in two. And now he's just kind of back to that. I know like that, a uh, core tenant. Oh, it's this one. That's the one I'm supposed to hit. I didn't hit that one. Yeah, like, I, I know it's like car, car, creepy, like, crazy, kooky cartoon and stuff. Don't worry about it, you know? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But at the same time, like, because I know that was a tenant, like a core tenant of their philosophy with designing this game, to not make it like a super story heavy game. Like, it's, it's a 90s game, essentially. It's a 90s game in a fancy coat, is what this is. Oh, I saved my life. Like, don't worry about it. This, we're not going to, like, have these walk-and-talk, like, Uncharted-esque sequences or whatever, where you're just gonna walk with a character and then dialogue at you. Keep the story minimal, and they do do that. They, they keep up the, uh... I, th I wanted to get that. Uh, and they keep that style. Like, it, the, the way that they pace the cutscenes in the story and the way they deal with it, 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 it feels like... It's a little bit more advanced than a 90s game. Is that one of them? That might be one of them. 
It's a little bit more, like, intricate, because there's a bunch of, like, mid-level dialogue that I don't think you'd really get in the 90s, but... Like, the way they pace the cutscenes and the way that stuff happens in the cutscenes is very 90s -ish. Oh, that that's the one. Oh, so the extra one is, I guess, the unnecessary one. Well, that's the trophy hammer at home. Get those four gongs. But, like, there's there's basic stuff here. There's basic continuity we could be following here. At least give us a throwaway reason. Like, Brio's like, yeah, rent was due and Cortex was paying. How? I don't know. I don't know how he pays. I don't know how he pays, but he apparently does. Okay, right, well... And with that, that is basically everything in Crash 4 that isn't the uh, flashbacks or time trials. So, no, don't go that way! That's gonna do it for tonight's stream. Please go over there. When we pick this up, we'll pick this, we'll pick up Crash on Sunday. Tomorrow, it sounds like we're going to be playing Plate Up with Hito, Mari, and maybe another uh, couple friends. So that should be fun. It's if it's, oh, it's apparently very overcooked, and I love overcooked, so we'll give that a go. Uh, but we'll pick up Crash on Sunday, and when we do, we will be doing the flashback tapes. We'll go through those. I don't know how long those will take. They're, I mean, they're, again, they're just kind of beefy bonus levels, but uh, it might take, a, might take some time to get through. But I mean, they're basically puzzles. It's basically once we solve this, have the solution, it's not going to be that bad. I'm done. Looking forward to the next part. Hey, looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you everybody for tuning in for tonight's stream. We did it. We did it. That is a 38 out of 38 perfect relics. There's still much more to do. Still much more to do, but that is a pretty significant milestone we've crossed here. I am happy. I'm satisfied. And I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to rounding out some more of these numbers that we see on screen here next we meet. Thank you all once again for tuning in. Appreciate you all. If you're watching this archived on YouTube, I apologize for having to split up the last part in this one, stream issues. Hopefully they will be resolved next time. You all have a great night. Thank you, BJazz. Be sure to follow BJazz for all your Crash 4 knowledge. Sphinx, have a great night. Thank you for the confidence you gave me. Ah! Do we want to raid tonight? You know what? No raid tonight. Actually, you know what? I have too many people here to not raid. Let's go raid Hans. Uh, boy, why doesn't his thing come, come up? I'm gonna go through different links to get to him. Oh, he's there. That's a cool place to be. Oh, I didn't put the message. Once again, thank you all for tuning in tonight. If you're here for more Crash, I will see you on Sunday. If you just want to hang out for other reasons, for other streams, I'll see you tomorrow for Played Up. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!